Hey everyone, we're back with a video. It's NHR News Reports, and today we have our Habs trade and the Detroit Red Wings all involved here. As expected, Jeff Petrie has been traded once again after being in Pittsburgh um, last year. Well, before that, being with the Habs for like seven years. Um, long time hop, and then he wanted to be traded. COVID, you know, all that stuff. Um, with his family and all that, and he wanted to be in the U.S. So, and now. He gets straight back to Habs, but they didn't welcome him back. They didn't say much. They didn't say anything about him at all, the Habs organization, and this is why. Because he gets traded to uh, Detroit. Now, um, Jeff Petrie's um, father played in the MLB. He played for the Detroit Tigers, and so, you know, Jeff here, Jeff Petrie, um, this is special to him. He's been, he knows Detroit, um... So him going to Detroit is special for him, for sure, to a place that he knows and that he can grow his family to. Um, but Jeff Petrie is now a Detroit Red Wing, 50% retained, $2.3 million. The uh, Red Wings will pay for the next two years. Same thing for the Habs. So, uh, the, you know, the Red Wings get Jeff Petrie. They give up Gustav Lindstrom, $950,000 deal. Um, this guy, just on a one-year deal, right? Um, so, yeah, that's what we see, just on a one-year deal. Um, and then you got a fourth-round pick here of Detroit. It's a conditional fourth-round pick. It means that Montreal receives the later of Detroit or Boston's 2025 fourth-round pick. So, yeah, we'll see how that turns out. But, you know, it's a fourth-round pick. But, um... They had no room for Jeff Petrie um, at all, and getting him out of there was nice, and also getting young defenseman, a Swedish defenseman, 24-year-old, and Gustav Lindstrom, up picked pretty high in 2017, but um, Lindstrom's good, he's a shutdown guy, also has some playmaking skills too, so uh, someone will get about 10 points in a season, but um, we'll see where he plays, if it's NHL or... Um, you know, in Laval, but last couple of years playing, playing in the NHL, playing in the NHL, so we'll see how things go for him. Uh, people are saying that the Detroit Red Wings win this trade, but, you know, it's more a fair deal slash the Habs, I feel. The Habs move on Petrie, you know, they don't need Petrie um, for the young core they have, and Jack Guy, Gooley, Kov, um, Jonathan Kovacevic, and then they got Mike Matheson in the D core, and uh, David Savard there, too, with you know, up in the pipeline of Logan Mayu and uh, guys like that and prospects that are still in college like Lo uh, Lane Hudson or Dave Ryan uh, David Reinbacher who's probably going to play in Europe next year or two, right? So, you know, they have enough defense. I think Gus Lundstrom isn't bad. Uh, give them a chance, right, with the Habs. And the Habs, you know, free up one point three nine. Three million dollar deal, um, you know, the whole um money up there, so it's better on the cap for the Habs, but we'll see how things go for them for sure, um, and you know, it's nice. Look at the defense now, Matheson, like I said, Savard, Harris, Lindstrom, Baron, Gouli, Kovacevic, and Weinman gives definitely option for these young guys or this decor just to play the game without someone else being waived or something and. Um, looking at Ryan back, like I said, my U, Strobel, Norland, or Tr Trudeau had a really good season last year in the AHL. That should go well. We'll see how that goes again. Um, and Trudeau is only 20 years old. He had a really solid season. Good to see. So some things to watch out here for the Habs and the D. Um, the building, all right? The building correctly. They're not rushing things. They're building the right way, which is so nice to see. So thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye.